for one season of racing, she was spectacular. A formidable Washington bred to be feared on any stage in North America, Delicate Vine has landed in the Washington Thoroughbred Hall of Fame. Bred by Dan Agnew at Dan Dar Farm in Tenino, the pairing in 1984 of Sire Knight's Choice and Dam Fool's Miss was certainly promising. Agnew is a shareholder in the very talented Knight's Choice who rocketed away in his stud career with a fantastic Hilco Scamper, a juvenile of 1985 and Washington Horse of the Year. Fool's Miss was a Dandar broodmare and she'd go on to produce 13 foals, many of them side Agnew stallions. Delicate Vine was fourth generation female family at Dandar. Farm manager Stevie Hansen was always impressed by the young Delicate Vine. Hansen would relate that she had an air about her as soon as she hit the ground and was always athletic. Hansen tried many times to convince Agnew to keep it a race rather than sell commercially. Agnew decided to sell in a two-year-old's in-training sale in California. The group included Jerry Moss and trainer Bobby Frankel. Those two had a great run with Night Mover, including a runner-up in the 1984 Long Acres Mile to Traveling Victor. Jockey Gary Stevens was in his second full season in California and got the mount on Delicate Vine. She debuted with a four-length maiden victory at Hollywood Park, and two weeks later, it was the grade three Landaluce Stakes. And Anything for Love toward the inside, joined on the outside by Purdue Queen. It's Anything for Love by three parts of a length, Purdue Queen second, Delicate Vine lodging a strong rally from the far outside for Gary Stevens. Here comes Delicate Vine on the far outside. Delicate Vine, a tremendous rally goes to the lead. Anything for Love is second, it's Delicate Vine. A second easy victory, again defeating a high-priced D. Wayne Lucas purchase. She was now looked at by horsemen and media in a category reserved for only the most special runners. Gary Stevens said, she scares me she's so good, she's amazing. Stevens had a recent reference point. He'd ridden Hilco Scamper around the country the summer before. Currently Santa Anita's director of publicity, Mike Willman, was just breaking into the game when Delicate Vine appeared on the Southern California scene. I was very fortunate back in 1986 to be able to work in the jockey's room at Hollywood Park as the assistant clerk of the scales. And without a doubt, one of the big stories that year was a, a, just a brilliant filly. I, I can't think of any better word to describe Delicate Vine than brilliant. Bobby Frankel had her and we had heard she could run and boy could she. She went out there and won real easy first time out. I believe it was on June 19th. And this is a filly that I think Gary Stevens would readily acknowledge help put him on the national radar. She's a richly, richly, richly deserving filly to be inducted into the Washington State Hall of Fame. And I really feel lucky that I got to see her up close uh, at Hollywood Park a couple of times back in 1986. And to be able to hear those jocks in the room talking about this very, very special filly. And of course from there, it was the sky was the limit for Knight's Choice between Hilco Scamper and Delicate Vine. The future was, uh, was well underway, I guess you could put it that way. Congratulations to everybody involved with Delicate Vine. The grade two sorority was next at Monmouth Park a five-length triumph. Frankel had high praise, saying, she's maybe the best juvenile, filly or colt, I've ever had in my care. He added, if she was sired by Seattle Slough, they'd already be calling her great. Next, a trip to Chicago for the prestigious Arlington Washington Lassie. With Stevens aboard, the favored delicate vine raced to another clear victory, this time over Sacagawea, who'd gone on to win an Eclipse Award the following year. Delicate Vine, three deep, powers into command, Sacagawea between horses, second, Ruling Angel down along the rail, third, Collins, race scene fourth, 100 yards to come, Delicate Vine is going to take it, Delicate Vine, Gary Stevens, a length and a quarter. Delicate Vine was now a sensational four for four and headed back to the west coast for the Oak Leaf Stakes at Santa Anita. The Breeders' Cup was scheduled there too, in her only loss, a courageous third to Sacagawea in the Oak Leaf she suffered a fracture and a bow tendon. Her brilliant season was over, finishing the year number two on the experimental free handicap to Breeders' Cup champion Brave Raj. There was talk of a comeback to racing the next year, but a career as a broodmare was chosen. In the breeding shed, she produced sought after runners and winners that campaigned all over the world. One of her stakes winners was Altazar, a successful Washington-based stallion. One season of national brilliance on the track difficult to match by any horse. Delicate Vine has entered the Washington Thoroughbred Hall of Fame.